Welcome back, everybody. This is Red Halo here. We're playing more One Piece Shredder Cruise, and we're doing some Kazuna summons. Uh, we got a new Legend X Drake on the Kazuna banner. He's very good. Uh, I wouldn't say he's, like, the best Kazuna legend. But Toki's still reigning there probably for all time, more than likely. Um, but I think he's definitely on the upper echelon of Kazuna legends for sure. Uh, whether he's S tier, um, probably, in my personal opinion. I haven't looked into his kit, like, really in depth, but I have seen enough to know that he is very strong. Uh, so we're definitely looking to possibly pull that. We were just watching Stump stream. Shout out to Stump, and he got him. Uh, very, very lucky he got the Zoro too. He would get great pulls. And so we're hoping that we can also... Uh, get him here if not it's not the end of the world we're doing three multi-pulls i'm not going farther than that um because we're gonna get anniversary soon so if you're free to play or you don't spend much on the game skip this banner you don't need to pull on it um the units are good for sure but it's not like they're going anywhere next kazuna they'll probably be there and it's honestly better to wait and save your gems for anniversary because more than likely those characters are going to be Way, way better than x Drake. So, I'm doing the pull so you don't have to, right? Most content creators are like that. Anyways, before we get into the pulls, I did want to mention something. I looked at the drop rates, right? Earlier. And they're not fantastic. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, I'm very disappointed in the fact that they do this. And I don't know why they did this. It doesn't really make any sense. You would expect that... A debut legend would be probably the highest rate boost right that's not how it is here so x drake that's the six star this is the five star more than likely you're going to pull the five star right um 0.4 and then you can see brook right underneath it 0.2 that's half of what the debut legend is and more than half than all the other legends all the other legends are higher than drake and brook but brook being that low it's probably due to the fact that Brooks banner is still out and they want you to pull on that debut banner where he is, but that's just why that low. That's just scummy. I hate that. And then having Drake be less than everybody else too. I, still, that doesn't make any sense why you would do that. You would, you want people to want to feel like they have a good chance at pulling the new legend and having them less than everything else, that this, I don't like that. Um, we are also looking at the new Zoro. He does have a higher rate than all the ones you see here, but he also doesn't have a four star. And so his rate is not the worst, but it's, it's enough that like, it's not as bad as like the Brook. Um, Stump getting crazy lucky, he did pull the Brook. So that's awesome. And like when I saw that, I was like, holy crap. He basically got the hardest character to pull on that banner. And so he got basically everything he wanted there. And I'm hoping that I can do something similar. Uh, I'm kind of worried that I sent all my luck to him on that last multi. But um, we're only doing three multis. It's not the end of the world. So let's see some positive vibes. We're going to throw some positive vibes in the chat right here. And uh, we're going to get right into it. Of course, we're live right now on my Twitch channel. Go check me out in the description down below. There's going to be a link to it, but we're going to get right into it. Good luck to anybody who's pulling, maybe thinking of pulling. I suggest not to, but 30 gems for the first multi, right? It's not the end of the world. You could get some good stuff. We'll see what happens on this. We didn't get any, any cut-ins or anything, but that's perfectly fine. That's fine. You don't need to get the legend on the first multi, right? It'd be ideal, but it's not like the end of the world, right? Um, as for Kazuna characters I don't have, I honestly don't even know. <laughs> There's so many now that it's like hard to keep track of. There are certainly Kazuna characters I don't have. And limited rare crews I don't have. Uh, but just to throw some off the top, that character, the two... Actually, all three of the characters that are on the artwork on the banner that are the four stars, the Zoro, the Komarasaki, that is not the Zoro we're looking for. That's a very good Zoro, though. Um, and the other one that I don't even remember the name of, um, 
I don't have any of them. So the recommended step is pretty good for me. Um, if you even have like one of those characters that are the four stars, I suggest skipping. But um, all right, well, not the best multi. We did get a, two kids, I think. Um, that's a very good kid. Same batch that that Zoro came in. Um, so all three of those are very good units. That um, Jozu's also very good. The uh, Luffy's good. Um, but I think I have a lot of those already rainbowed, so it is what it is, right? On to the second one. By the way, this is, or supposed to be, a 7.5 times, uh, red rate. So, with one, um, cut in there, maybe a secret red, maybe that's, like, a good air recruit, but, like, back-to-back, -back, uh, no animations... We did get at least a cut in, um, so that's something. One character, or actually two that I don't have from the newest batch. I don't have, well, not from the newest batch, but I don't have Ashra Doji or Raizo, the new rare recruits. So either one of those would be honestly pretty good. Um, I also still don't have the Shinobu Mononosuke character rare recruit, so I think that's new. Mind you, pretty much unusable now but i'm pretty sure that's still new um i definitely have that character um yeah three back to back there i have that character too i pulled that one okay very odd zoro <laughs> yeah yeah i see what you're doing there game that is zoro specifically yes but it's not, not the one i want uh yeah okay i see what you're doing all right so here's the last one recommended step are we gonna go three in a row without a legend we have the dugon there giving us a little <laughs> hope but it's a very tiny little bit amount so probably not a red here uh i can't believe we just did basically three multi pulls without a red on a increased red rate banner so that is what it is right i would like to see the zoro here if we're getting a four star but it will be new regardless so i think it's that, that that is new that is new okay yeah at least we got something um that's new okay <laughs> now i have both of those characters from that batch so at least that's something there. Do I want to have gone three multis to get just the Sanji? No. Well, we will get a new character here. I'm just hoping it's Zoro. Nope. <laughs> it's Komarasaki. All right. Uh, that is that is new. And she's a good character, but not fantastic. <laughs> that's for sure. Not very good. So... That's going to definitely call it. Obviously, the game doesn't want me to do any more multiples. Uh, so we're going to call it right there. Uh, and then save the rest of our gems, as you should be doing for the anniversary. So thanks for watching this video. Short little one. Nothing really all that great. Uh, we did get two new characters. Or three new characters if you count Kid. But I don't really count him because I'm never going to use him. Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button for me. It helped me out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more that I put out. More Treasure Cruise stuff. All that stuff. In the description will have a link to my Twitch channel as well as my Twitter. Check those out. And I will talk to you guys later. Ciao.